Hey. So I finally got out of prison, and you know what that means. But before I start, I want to thank Abikair Seeloff for writing Cartland's Read Me and pointing out a lot of bugs, and my mom. So I wanted to add tile lighting to Cartland, but I wanted it to be shader based as to not cause any performance issues. So I looked at how PRBF shaders worked, but they weren't exactly the greatest, so I rewrote them. Ow. That was unfortunate. My rewrite had an issue though, walls would be darker than expected. So how my shader worked was by getting the position of the mesh, then doing some shit fuckery to find its position on the light map. Then multiplying by that by the base texture to get the final result. So you're probably not thinking why this is important, but are thinking when I am gonna shut up. And that's a good question. So when the shader gets the position of the walls, it needs to be in the exact center to be correctly lit. But since walls are on the edge of tiles, they get sampled from two different tiles. My original solution was to rebuild the entire fucking schoolhouse with walls that are offsetted by having their center in the middle of the tile. Now oh, you've got to put some swaz on it, Gromit! <laughs> Top beans! So after I rebuilt the schoolhouse, I realized a lot of decor had their lighting affected too. And I wasn't going to create a whole new mesh for every single one. So I went on using the second option I was given. In geometry, a normal is an object, e.g. a line, ray, or vector, that is perpendicular to a given object. For example, the normal line to a plane curve at a given point is the line perpendicular to the tangent line to the curve at the point. So my next solution was to use the normal vector of the mesh, multiply that by the mesh's offset to a tile center, this is 5 by 5 for walls, then add the position to the outputs x and z, to get the tile center, and this worked flawlessly. So with all of that said, goodbye.